Hello, every East Shadian buddy, or Shadian buddy. The people of the island of East Shade are called Shadians. So maybe I should say Shadians. That sounds like people who watch Shadi Cast. Speaking of which, I have a friend, Andrew Stali111. He's uh, he used to be part of the stuff. Um, what do you want to call it? The uh, the Shadi Cast uh, team. All right. So I have my retainer in. Um, hopefully that doesn't change my voice much. It might just a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, yep, I have to wear a retainer for at least another year. It was a successful Invisalign program, and it worked. It's just now to make to kind of bake the Invisalign correction in, you kind of have to wear a retainer for a year. Anyone that's done braces before knows about retainers. Yep. So it's better that I keep it in. I really should be keeping it in the whole time. I usually take it out when I stream, and you're really not supposed to do that because I stream for hours and hours. So, okay, Mr. Milk is here. Hey, and Captain George is here. Uh, yeah, we have a whole crowd. Let's get into the game, shall we? Let me turn the Guild Wars 2 soundtrack off. That's what you were listening to. Um, ooh, nice. 17 people here already. Good. Now, when I have my retainer in, I can't drink coffee. I can only drink water. Can anyone guess why I can't drink coffee when I have the retainer in? I bet anyone who's had braces or retainers before knows why you can't drink coffee when you have a retainer in. <laughs> yeah. William Dong is the third. Hey, what's up? Thanks for being here. Okay, uh, here we go. Into the game. East Shade. East Shade. Ooh, it's amazing. Uh, let's let me show you the uh, event browser really quick. Uh, there it is. Good. Uh, video capture device is good. Game capture device is good. Yeah, we're removing the image. Uh, there's uh, the most recent stuff. So if you do anything, like if you follow me on Twitch or you subscribe to the channel or you give a tip or a donation or you do you know anything, it shows up down here in the event browser. Okay, and into the game we go. Oh, tips. What is this? It's like it's not... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so this is a uh, stream in 4K resolution. And I love streaming in 4K resolution because you get to see the, um, you get to choose any quality you want. Um, you're pecking sunflower seeds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good, there's 14 people here. Now stay here. Uh, now stay here, please. Yep, we're in going into the game, and uh, looks like uh, we are all set to go. There's no new update or anything, so let's just go in and see if it wakes. It should wake. We should hear the game in just a moment. Hmm, it's taking longer than usual to load. I might have to look into that. Yeah. You can hear the seashore, and you should be able to start hearing music in a second. Oh, we're up to uh, version 1.08a. So uh, Danny did release a, uh, a small patch since the last time I streamed it, which was on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just making sure that everything looks good over here. Yes, everything does look good. Okay, uh, let me know, and I have to make sure that nothing else, uh, no strange applications are running, even though I'd already done that twice before I started. Yeah. Windows always has a way of, like, starting things right when I stream. Like, oh, let's uh, spend 20% of your CPU searching for Windows. Well, okay. Manual save. Yep, this was it. This is where we left off last time. And we should be, when we come into the game, we should see the Tithmore Bluffs before us and the ruins. I think that's right. Yep. Yep, there it is. This is right where we left off last time. Okay, I'll let you soak in the scenery for a few moments. Um, 
this is a game, it's a peaceful game made by an indie developer, and there's no combat in the game. The focus is more like the beauty, like the kind of um, beauty that you can get out of the Unity engine with just, a, with just a small team of three people. There really is only one person that developed this. His name was Danny Weinbaum. Um, so there was only one developer ever on this game. It was him. He spent five years making this game, but look what they were able to produce over a one person spending five years to do something, and this is the result. And I think it's, I think it's exciting. Uh, it's actually uplifting to think that one person could uh, produce uh, a game like this. Yeah, it takes five years, and you have to be a, uh, very knowledgeable in um, 3D modeling, game development, um, game engine, programming, all of that. You know, it takes a lot of skill. I mean, you know, they hired voice actors, of course. I mean, he didn't voice act everything. He, I think he voice acted a few of, uh, characters. Um, and then they hired Phoenix, the um, person, to uh, uh, compose the music. Yeah, so. All right, so uh, how many people we got here? Looks like we have 17 people, yeah. Uh, so feel free to say hi uh, and tell us what you are playing tonight or tell us what how your weekend is going or what you'll be doing this weekend. Yeah, just tell us about anything. Actually, you can chat about anything you like. We're not one of those ridiculous channels that says, oh, no religion, no politics. Yeah, you can chat about anything you like as long as you keep it respectful, right? Right. Yep, we got uh, 17 people here. Very good. All right, so these are the ruins, apparently. Uh, let me show you our quests really quick. Uh, we are, now we're about, well, I think we're about like here now, okay? So there was the West Tower. We couldn't, we couldn't go up to the tower, but we were able to discover it at least. And, um... What's weird is that uh, um, uh, we discovered the beach, we discovered the tower, but uh, it's like we can't go up the tower. And I'm not sure why. Hmm. Actually, let's go down here first. Yeah, we can always explore the coast. We didn't really explore the coast yet. Ooh, that's pretty rocky down there. I don't know if I should fall out, fall over the coast. Uh, you, what you're hearing is the, uh, the shoreline, the waves crashing against the shore. I don't think that's a... Yeah, let's find out. Nope, I can't go down there. That is odd, isn't it? Uh, I wish I could go down there, but I can't. Hey! <laughs> Monkeys, bears, deers, elves, and badgers. Yeah, uh, I don't know if there are badgers in here. Oh, uh, there are water foxes. So the water foxes aren't characters, but they're just like uh, the wildlife you see around the, uh, the area. Whoa, what is this? Aha! What's this? Let's go over there and check it out. Hello. Yeah, let's check it out. Can't get over there, though. How the fuck? Oh, you have to go down the stairs. So you can't get, you have to go down the stairs. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, well, we'll go down the stairs then. Mr. Milka, um, I think there are actually a few more, one or two more types of non-player characters in the game. Oh, hey, Gail, how are you? Um, now, um, if you're wondering what we're going to do tonight, Gail, we're, um, we're almost to the end of the game. We, are, we just have this stream and one more stream, and then that ends the game. Um, we are now exploring the Tipmore Bluffs. We just spent the end of the last video exploring the western woodlands, so now we're going to explore 
all of the Tipmore Bluffs. And that's a fairly large part of the map. If you take a look at it, it actually makes up a good, you know, it's as big as this area, actually, you know, minus Knobber. So let's uh, explore. I love this, uh, this particular uh, setting right here. In fact, I wish I could take, you know, I could paint a picture of it. Why not? Didn't, didn't my mother say to paint the Tipmore Bluffs? Uh, let's take a look at our um, objectives. So she said, hi, hi, there, mother's last wishes. Anywhere on the Tipmore Bluffs. Okay, so maybe, maybe she's talking about if these are the bluffs, then I think we're okay. Yeah, I mean, I should be able to just paint a picture here and that will count, right? Oh, I wish I, this is actually, actually here, let's do this, let's do this. I wanna catch uh, the shadows of the trees and everything. And this is a great time because the sun is setting and that always, oh yeah, that always makes for a good composition, you see? So we're going to paint a picture. Yes, we are a painter and we, that is one of our primary game mechanics or game elements is to paint pictures of the landscape as we traipse across and discover things. There you go. Why not? Actually, I wish I could frame this a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Maybe, maybe more like, more like this maybe. I, I want some trees to accompany the uh, composition. Yeah, actually right here, here, this is good. I, I wish I could stand up a little higher though. It does, actually here, here. I don't want the tree right in the way, but there, that's gonna have to be good enough right there. And let's take one of those mystery uh, teas. Where's the mystery blend? Yes. Oh, yuck. It turned everything green. Ugh. Water. See, now you can drink some water, and that removes the filter. Ah. Okay, let's just paint it like this, and I'll add a filter myself later on. Okay, uh, we have to paint quickly. La, la. There we go. And, and there it is, the Tipmore Ruins. We did it. Um, oh. I think that was one of our commissions, actually. Oh, oh, it was, it was one of the commissions. Okay, so we actually have to paint two pictures of this. I see, because uh, um, Mother said uh, we have to paint a picture for one of the commissions, and then we have to paint a second picture. Oh, come on. So maybe from a different angle. You know, she said anywhere on the tip more bluffs. Okay, but, well, we discovered the tip, there it is. Let's do that. Let's let's paint this picture. What's wrong with this picture? Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, actually, here. Let's see if I can get up on this rock. Oh, yes. That's much better. Okay, now we're going to paint one more picture. And this one is for Mother. La, 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 la. There we go. La. Okay, now here's what we, isn't there a tea that makes everything blue? Yes. I'm not sure which tea though. Yeah, Glarb Stettenford. I'll check the tea, the tea book later. Yeah, there's like several different, several different teas. Yeah, the old, oh, the old ruins, yeah, actually. And you can go down into the ruins, and we're going to do that in just a moment. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to go into the this and fulfill mother. Yeah, there. So, the, what's this? Oh, oh, the windmill. Oh, apparently we this didn't count. I thought she said anywhere on the Tipmore Bluffs. She said anywhere on the Tipmore Bluffs. Well, we're on the Tipmore Bluffs. Okay, now let's explore the ruins. Since we're here, we'll explore the ruins. Oh, good. Oh, lordy, doddy, deedy, doddy. There's the Tipmore Ruins. 
Nah. Good. Um, there must be a way to get down into the ruins, but I don't know how you would do that. See, and there, oh, I, I don't like those pauses and stutters. I mean, you know, that is a uh, optimization that they'll have to work on. I mean, it's constantly doing that, like every every 10 steps or so. And there's a way to, there are many ways to, op see, like right there, because it just put the water windmill into the view. Yeah, I think you're right, William. I, I think I think you're right. It it uh, uh, it just depends on which mystery blend you drink, and you don't know which one you're going to drink. See, you can make mystery blends, and they're they're all different. Yeah, that's totally what's going on here. So I can't figure out how to get down into the ruins. I want to get down into the ruins. And you know, there's also a light. You see the light up there? There's a light in that tower, but we can't go up into the tower. I was thinking there might be some kind of secret entrance into the ruins. Let's look around on the other side. No, there's not. There's nothing. But actually, remember, there's a... some kind of staircase that takes us down there. Yeah, see? Clunk. Yeah, see, it, it keeps doing that over and over, and it's kind of annoying. We can't get down there. How do you get... How do you get down there, even? Huh. Can't seem to figure out how to get down there. Well, we'll figure it out soon enough. Yeah, the mystery blends are just blends we haven't seen in books or otherwise learned of. Yeah, that's that's probably what's going on. Now, we'll have to deal with the stuttering, you know, the, like where it pauses for a second, like freezes for a moment. It's because it's loading things into the uh, into view. But I can't really do anything about it. They haven't optimized it yet. How do you how do you get down there? Yeah, and I think the benchmark that they used was for low-end graphics cards. Oh, good, 19 people here. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And if you could, stay here, because that, that helps the developer out. You know, I really like supporting this developer and getting the word out about their creation. Um, you know what I think we'll do is we'll wait until morning, uh, but I don't have a place I can rest until morning. Um... We'll traipse around a little bit at night yet, and I need to try to figure out a way to get down there. I don't know how to get down there. I don't see any any path or anything. There's one of the windmills. See, there's like multiple windmills around here. There's like three windmills as far as I can see. See, we discovered the Tipmore ruins. Actually, there's a lot more to discover over this way. Here's a, uh, this is probably one of the Oh yeah, that's one of the hot springs, I bet, right? We have two more hot springs to discover, too. Could be worse. You could have a Minecraft-style pop-in. Oh yeah, where everything suddenly pops in. Oh yeah, I know, they only get 10 to 30 frames a second. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best optimized game, that's for sure. I think because he had to focus on getting a lot of the other stuff fixed first, and then he's probably going to do some optimize, optimization updates later on, once the game has been out for a little while. Because, you know, I mean, this is a GTX 1080 Ti, so, uh, yeah, like uh, somebody said, we could just, yeah, Glarb Stettenford, they could totally load this entire game at once into my, all of the memory, into I mean, all the uh, textures and everything, all at once into the graphics card, because it's only like a three gigabyte game. Totally do that, yeah. Yeah, then you wouldn't have those uh, stuttering, those uh, loading, those grid loading stutters. 
oh, if I could only get over there, then I can get down into there. So how do you get over there? I bet it has something to do with the ruins. Yeah. Oh, hello. Um, I just can't figure out how to get down there, though. Not here. Yeah, it won't let me go down there. What's that? There's a cave. No, that's not a cave. Or as far as I can tell, that's not a cave. Hey, Snuffleupagus. Yeah, considering it was one developer, I think this was really good. Thanks everyone, by the way, for being here. Like I was saying, uh, stick around if you could. Stay here. Even if you have to go and eat dinner or something, just leave the stream open. Because then more people will find this stream, which means they'll find the game. And they might even support the developer and uh, try it out themselves. Ooh, look at that. I can't wait to explore. But... Let's wait until morning. Um, one way to do that is to make a, a freaking tent, but making a tent is very expensive. It takes five twine. Oh, oh, I could. There, now I can make a tent. Yeah, let's make a tent. Oh, shut up. Oh God, are you kidding? Yeah, we're going to camp right out on the, uh, the bluff. There. There's our camp. Okay, uh, we might as well make a camp bar, too. All right, dead darn camp bar. Yeah, there you go. There we go. We made a campfire. Yay! So we can make more mystery tea if we like. Oh, why not? Let's make some mystery tea. Oh, we have, look at Bloom Sacks and Mountain Wolf. Let's brew that. How about two mountain wart, one bloom sack? That's another mystery blend. Heavy reeds, black thistle, and scrag weed. <laughs> That's another mystery blend. Inky caps and uh, bloom sack makes another. Okay, let's make some legitimate teas that we actually know how to make. To do that, you have to go into classic shoddy and tea. So then don't we brew uh, through tea? I don't like earth root tea. Uh, Lindoium brew is two white bloom sacks and one snatch of root. Okay. Oh, we don't have any roots. Oh, ticks. Okay. I'll have to make this then. I don't even know what we're making at this point. Okay, let's wait until morning. There we go. So what you do, you just, you know, we can't pick up, oh, we can pack it. I just realized you can pack this camp, uh, this tent. I'll be staying. I finally caught up on the VODs. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, and now I just realized we can pack the tent up. Yep. Yeah, I thought I was, I had like tents all over the, the landscape, and I just realized I can pack it. Now, you can't pack the campfire, but I don't care. Who cares? I mean, it just takes sticks, right? It takes sticks and a few other things. <laughs> okay, so we're clearly in the Tiffmore Bluffs now, right? I mean, we are clearly on the bluffs, so, wait a minute, yeah, it's 5.30 in the morning. Let's wait until the sun comes out, and then we'll paint a picture of this, and we'll paint right over the picture we took just a little while ago. Take a look at our commissions, by the way. A starry cavern, a windmill. Oh, we're going to have to paint two pictures of the windmill. And then a mountainous snowscape. Oh, God, I forgot to, to paint this, okay. So we'll paint the mountainous snowscape next. Yeah, so uh, Gail, Gail Ohm is a, uh, ooh, look at this. She's a, uh, she's viewing, or she's watching right now. She also plays this game, and uh, uh, I don't know if she's caught up to where I'm at. And uh, I understand if people don't want to uh, spoil it. Um, uh, luckily, this, this game isn't particularly 
uh, bad when it comes to spoilers because you can already you can watch the game and you can uh, you can already know everything that's going to happen and you can still really enjoy it in your own way. You know, like I like just walking around and taking pictures, like taking screenshots of the countryside because uh, they did a good you know well he did a good job uh, developing this. I think I think it looks really nice for an indie for an indie game. It looks very nice. Actually, this is the best indie game I've ever seen, visually. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna paint a picture of this uh, windmill from. Oh, I hope. Oh, I can't get over there. Look, there's a big uh, gorge. See. There's our natural arch. You see, that's a big cave. We're gonna go in there in a minute. Stand by. Let's paint a picture of the windmill first. How do we get up there? Um, actually, let's paint the picture here. I love these uh, shadows. Those long shadows that happen in the morning. Okay, let's, let's paint the picture of the windmill. Now, this is for the commission. Yeah, a windmill. And there it is. Good. And now we're going to paint another picture for Mother. We are on the Tithmore Bluffs, right? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're on the Tithmore Bluffs, so this will count. We could paint a picture of the windmill over the sea, like the windmill at the sea. Oh, what would be a good place? Oh, why don't we paint a picture? Oh, yeah, actually, here. Let's do this. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We're going to come over here and we'll paint a picture of the moon and two windmills from this rock. Whoops. But we need to have the other... There we go. The windmill... Both windmills have to be in view. You know, we could actually do all three of them. Let's see if that would work. Sort of, yeah, yeah, we could do all three. Yeah, what do you think of that? Wow, perfectly, yeah, that's a good composition. Okay, so we paint a picture. Which one didn't count? Uh, this one. Yeah, let's undo this one. We're gonna need the whole scene for this. Okay, there we go. La! There we go. And this should uh, fulfill mother's request. Oh, do you think the fox was uh, the starry cavern? Uh, we could go back in there. And tr there we go. Mother's Memorial Painting. You painted one of Mother's most beloved places. So we, we get to add this to Mother. Oh, how do you get in? Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're going to click this. Yeah, which painting will best commemorate Mother? And not that one. Yeah, this one. This one. Wah! Wow. Okay, we have enough inspiration to finish the game now. Let's look at our commissions. See, we fulfilled two of the commissions. A mountainous snowscape and then a starry cabin. We should get back to uh, Nava and get more commissions pretty soon. But meanwhile, can we go up in the windmill? Nope, they're just here for show. All right. Oh, the human fox that is. Secret Fox Cave? Yeah, I tried painting that, and um, actually I still have the painting. So take a look at the painting. See, this is it. This is the painting I thought that was it, but it isn't. Oh, it's a new... Okay, okay. Yep, Jasmine said it. the Starry Cavern is actually... a 
another cavern we haven't gotten to yet. There's the natural arch. And who wanted me to paint the natural arch? I think that's another one of the commissions. No, it isn't. What? What's this? That's odd. I, I swear somebody wanted to paint, wanted me to paint a natural arch. Let's see, Thomas Apples. Two children lost in the forest. Okay, I'll tell Toma about that later on. I read a wanted poster. Yeah, we know about that. The top of Nava. Yeah, we have to paint those two. We still have two hot springs to discover. We have to collect water, and then we'll eventually be able to get to the top of the Nava Tower. See, and that's this, Elixir of Life. And better fish, we have to catch old pops. The architect. I don't know about the architect yet. We'll have to talk to somebody about the architect. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, how many people we got here? Good, 19 people. Yeah, now stick around, please. Thank you for coming to my channel. Now, if you stay here, uh, we got a lot more coming up. So we have a, uh, uh, we're going to be fulfilling a lot of these quests pretty soon. But on top of that, uh, at, when we're done with this stream, then we're going to go over to Twitch. I have a Twitch channel. I don't know how to get down there. And then over on Twitch, we're going to stream this game Metro Exodus. So we'll probably only, we'll, we'll stream here for maybe two and a half hours total. And then we'll go over to Twitch and then we'll just stream however long you, you want me to. You know, I'm not very keen on the game, and it's not working out on Twitch. You know, I need to grow a channel. I mean, I need to grow my Twitch channel fast. So we need to pick games that will uh, gain an audience really quickly on Twitch. And, and we'll figure it out. It, it just turned out it wasn't Metro Exodus at all. It's something else, but I don't know what that is yet. Oh, cool. Picked it up. What's this? Oh, good. What's this? Oh. Huh. And there's some sheep. Okay. Oh, there's actually more windmills. There's actually a, a total of four windmills. I think. Four windmills so far. Let's keep going. What's that? Hello. Oh. Scrap. You know, one thing I noticed that isn't here. Whoa! Is, um roots so we need roots that's for sure we need to make more tea with the roots oh yeah uh gail and you know actually i only play that one game you know this one metro exodus i've never played any of the others before i've opened it up before but i've never actually played it okay shall we take the zip line over here yeah let's get the zip line going Wow, this is like a whole island. Here we go. Whee! Now we're out on like a plateau. West Spring Bluff. Blah. It's called West Spring Bluff. That's the name of this island. Like an island bluff. Wow. So that's how you get over here. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. Here, I'm going to reduce the camera movement a little bit so you can see. I want you to be able to enjoy this with smooth camera activity like this. I was watching somebody stream this the other day, and they were using a PS4 controller and just jerking the camera around. That's not what this game... You don't have to jerk the camera around. You see what I'm doing here? Everything should be fluid, just like what you're seeing here. There's no reason to be jerking the camera around at all. The architect quest continues in town. Yep. In Lindo, right? Yeah, that's what I that's what I figured. I'd have to talk to a few people in Lindo, and then they'll tell us. Then we can talk about the architect. We could say something like, "Hey, I know where the architect is. He's up in the abandoned tower." Whereupon. Maybe the townsfolk will invite him back to the city. I think he was just misinformed. Like he had this misconception that people don't appreciate him. 
It's a common misconception in humanity, isn't it? Like, oh, people just don't appreciate me. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. People aren't just going to come out and say every day, wow, I really appreciate you. I appreciate It doesn't happen every day, but people do appreciate our work, right? Even, even if even if the uh, even if it isn't acknowledged, people appreciate. Okay, let's keep farting around here. Whoa. Yeah, we definitely have to go in there. But how? Aha! That's how you would get down there. You see that? There's a way in there through the zip line. Okay, so we're gonna zip line down there. Can I make more? I hope I have enough stuff to make canvases. Good! Yes, I do. Okay, there. I just ran out, but we have two canvases to paint on, which is good. And if we run out, we'll have to start painting over our other things, our vanity paintings. See, I did paint some things. Here's my painting so far. You know, I painted this just because I like it. See? But we might have to paint over it. Uh, we can paint over this because we've already fulfilled the, uh, the quest, partly. We can paint over this. This was useless. And we have to turn this in. We have to turn that in. Yeah, so I think we have to turn two of these in. I just don't know which ones. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. Shall we take the zip line? I think we've explored this entire bluff, right? Yeah, we went out to the shore. We couldn't do anything else. Let's, let's go down here. See, now we're going down. Oh, oh shit. Ooh, ooh. And you can go back up if you need to here. See, so we could always get back up by climbing the stairs. So that's good to know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here's the natural arch. I swear I had to paint a natural arch. Maybe we just don't have the commission yet. It's going to get dark pretty soon because the uh, there's an eclipse that will happen shortly. Wow. Oh, look, it's like a river. Yeah, it's a uh, running river that's going out into the ocean. Oh, uh, somebody said there's something in the middle of the island. Okay, let's, let's go back. Actually, let's go back then. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, all we have to do is to... And we can't fall off. Remember, you can't die in this game, so that's good. Let's just... So what it does, we just climbed back up. So let's, let's take the zip line over to that little bluff again. There's the zip line right there. Okay. Somebody said there's something in the middle of the island. Oh, yeah. I looked at, I circled the perimeter, I cleared the perimeter, and then I forgot to look in the middle. I'm not a very good strategist. Well, I'm really good at clearing the perimeter, even though there's nothing there, and then I forget what's, I forget what we came here for. What's this? There's something. It's like uh, rocks. It's a rock. Well, ah, hot spring. It's a hot spring. Whoa. Isn't this pretty? Okay, I'm gonna squat my butt into the hot springs. And then we'll wait out the, there goes the eclipse. And there goes that leviathan. I can't remember how the other part of that poem goes. There go the ships, and there goes that leviathan. Who's... I don't remember. Ah! 
when you squat your butt down and take a poop, you, you get inspiration. Okay, now we're going to collect the water from here. So you need a, a vial. Where's the vial? Empty vial. Blah! There, I filled the vial with empty water. We now only have one last hot spring to discover. Where's the last hot spring? I think we have the last hot spring. It's over here, right? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, tits. No. Oh, now that I said tits, I'm going to get demonetized. Shit. Oh, I mean, fuck. But, oh, get piss. Bitch, butt, cunt, slut, cocksucker, whore. Oh, my oh, oh. What have I... S now I'm going to get the whole video demonetized. No, I'm joking. Totally joking. Okay, let's wait until... Let's wait until the, the sun comes back out. <laughs> yeah, right. It doesn't happen to you. No, they don't. Oh. There we go. There's another, oh, these are scragweed. Yeah, we, there just are no roots in this part of the uh, map, so we have to take it easy. You know, with this weird, this weird um, uh, lighting scheme, and if you drink just the right tea, it makes this perfect filter. makes this really deep violet filter and it actually looks good because the greens will still come out even in the violet filter. Yeah, we're on. Okay, now we're going to go into the cavern. Yeah, I did. I collected the water. Yeah, in fact, if we look at... Bubble. So if we, if we take a look at that quest really quick... Yeah, see. And now let's just make sure that we have only one vial left because, yeah, see, we have four hot spring samples now. Now we only have one left, so we have to find that last uh, one pretty, pretty quickly. Many an artist was inspired by Massive Number Two. Oh yeah. What is Massive Massive Two? Was that a, that was a game? Hey, 22 people here. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, we knew that, um, you know, this isn't going to draw a gigantic crowd because, you know, it's a peaceful game. It's an indie game. And I have, this is stream number six already, but um, I really enjoy playing it and streaming it. So I wanted to help the developer out. And then we'll move on to something more, you know, something higher profile after this. Oh, Mysterious Box. It's locked. There's a name carved into the wood. The name is Medva. Yeah, the zip sound is, is really... Pl I don't know who Medva is. Well, we're going to find out. Well, now we know that we have... Oh, we picked up the box. Locked box. Well, where is it? Oh, there it is, locked box. A mysterious box I found in the Howling Caverns. Oh, so these are called the Howling Caverns, but word up. It's not on the map. Oh, here are the Howling Caverns right here. So we are now here. We can explore these two areas too. In fact, pretty soon we're going to build a boat and then we're able to go out into the ocean. Yeah, we are going. To, Maybe that's how I get to that, that area that I saw. There's like a campfire. You have to build a boat to get out into the ocean. We have our little bloom sack raft, but that's not enough. It, it doesn't, it won't let us get out into the ocean. you're right yeah I remember the monkey lady in the center and the that's right 
That's right. That's her. in fact, um, sh we have a quest for that. I don't know why it's not here, but I thought she told us about it. She even told us about it. Yeah, but um, there's no but there's no quest for it. What happened to the quest? Thank you, 22 people, by the way. You know, I keep saying that, but I, I really appreciate how many people are enjoying this game. Um, and stick around. I mean, there's nothing but peaceful, uh, pe peaceful vistas like this, and then a lovely countryside and good music. See, so this is like the perfect way to spend a Friday evening, I think. And um, the longer, the more people we have here, the longer I'll keep streaming it. But I would like to get over to Twitch at some time tonight and uh, stream Metro Exodus. It's the Starry Cavern and the Hot Spring. Well, there's our fifth hot spring, so we're gonna, let's get inspiration by pooping. And then um, we're also going to collect the last sample. Yeah, what, what is the composer's name, uh, Jasmine? His name is Phoenix somebody. Phoenix, fill in the blank, I, I, I don't know who it is. Um, there's our last empty vial. There. Now we've collected all five hot spring samples. Yeah, they could be glow worms. Yeah, you're right, because they're... You see the little uh, things dangling? Yeah. Wow. Ooh, and it goes deeper. Look, that's, we came in this way. So we, let's paint this picture now. Okay. Why won't it let me paint? Come on. Oh, we can't. I see. We have to have a place where we can set the easel down. Okay, okay. Well, actually, then let's go back here. Beautiful. There, there's a good. Actually, let's. Get, we need some light here. There, we can paint the picture right here. It's not letting me paint. This is a bug or something. I think the bug is that I just have to, there, I have to pick another one. Yeah, see, paint over. Yep, it was just, it's a bug. Like you can't, see, it let me do it if I pick one of my other canvases. So this is a complete bug and they have to fix that because, you know, that's the whole mechanic of the game is to be able to paint pictures. How about there? Yeah, let's do a widescreen kind of starry cavern. Ooh, yeah. Kind of like this. How's that? Yeah. There it is. La. Do you like the painting? Yeah, see, I, I like those wide, those really long paintings like that. Sometimes I like doing the, uh, the diptych, which is like uh, two paintings that are really narrow and tall. Or triptych, which is three paintings, very narrow and tall displayed side by side, which is, those triptych kind of paintings are really neat. Yeah, this sort of reminds us of Black Reach. Oh, you know, there was something else that totally threw me back to Black Reach. Also, uh, episode, season two, episode four of Star Trek Discovery.
was a total nod to Black Reach. Yeah, there was this uh, weird, um, like, hyperspace area that they were in. Two, uh, a lady was stuck in this weird, uh, like, hyperspace purgatory, and it was just like Black Reach. And they call it the Myocilium Network. But uh, in, in Star Trek Discovery, uh, and that episode was just two weeks ago. But as soon as she was in it, I said, hey, Blackreach. And then, of course, the Star Trek USS Discovery tried to rescue her. And then they wound up inside Blackreach for a short while. So the Discovery, the, uh, you know, the spacecraft, was in, the Starship was in Blackreach for a short while. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm walking through this because uh, I want you to take in the sights and enjoy it. See, even the running water is enjoyable. Hopefully my voice isn't annoying. Ooh, look at that. That's worth a screenshot right there, huh? Yeah, I'm going to go... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be, after I'm done streaming this, I'm going to go back through and record large parts of this, uh, just walking through the countryside. I'll probably do the entire soundtrack. Yeah, I'll probably do the whole soundtrack, but I have to get their permission first. Because, uh, you know, they're selling the soundtrack. So, I want to get their permission. They deserve... They deserve getting from, you know, me asking them, may I do that? Uh, the Tithmore Gorge, wow. Thanks for being here. Stay here, please. How do you get up there? Oh, God. How do I get up there? More go well, I can't get up that way. I think I have to walk backwards. Let's see if I can get out of here. I want to get out of here. Come on. I might be able to. Or maybe I have to walk all the way back. Right? Oh, tits. Yeah. Oh, blue tit. I don't think there's a way up. Oh. I can't climb up here, can I? I'm getting all wet. Huh. Yeah, I think you have to walk backwards. Oh, yeah? Voice goes perfect with the game? Well, I hope so. I certainly do hope so. You know, there's uh, some voice actors with a British accent in the game, so I was kind of like trying to fake one at certain points. <laughs> yep, I have to go backwards, right? Yeah, it's another way in the cave, you're right. And then to get back out, you, you must backtrack. So let's run. <laughs> this is actually running. You see how this is walking? And then I'm holding down the space bar. don't know if I can... Yeah, there we go. Now I'm running by default. Good. Yeah, I, I pressed uh, the caps lock, and now I'm running by default. Good. Yeah, I think Danny is a fan of Elder Scrolls games, like Skyrim. So he, he mapped the keys and gave us all these different uh, movement options that are very similar to Skyrim, which is kind of cool. And see, you can crouch, too. There are times where you have to crouch to get through things. But not in this case. I think we just have to go out, back out the way we came. See? Now we're back here. Ooh. You see how... The, yeah, now it's, it's actually getting a little dark now. Yeah, it's 551, so it's going to be dark in a few moments. So why don't we fast travel back to Nobber? Because we have to turn in our commissions, and then we'll come back here and keep exploring. Uh, oh! Oh, I don't know. 
Let's check if there's an auto lock. That would be nice if there were. Oh! Are you kidding me? There's no way to, uh... Oh, you can change the field of view. Yeah, I should have done that a little bit. Okay, back. Crosshair, vertical sync, anti-aliasing, nothing. Graphics quality, highest. Controls, audio, language. No, nothing. Yes. Yeah, presume. Yeah, so I just changed the field of view slightly to bring it out a little bit so we can get more of the vistas in the game. So this is a game where you would want a higher field of view to take in the sights, but not too high because, you know, the higher your field of view, the more it distorts the image and you don't want too much distortion. See, this is, this is just right. Not too much distortion, just a little bit. See, like if you look at the windmill in the upper left, it looks different when you're looking right at it because it's distorting your, your field of view slightly. Okay, let's go back to Nava. Let's go back to Nava. Nava. Drink a mountain more tea to walk to this location, yes. Yeah, and well caps lock will toggle what you know what the what the default is. You know, whatever your default whatever default speed you want, that's what caps lock is for. Yeah, he might add it. But that would be nice to be able to do like an auto walk so you don't have to hold it down constantly. We might actually find it. Maybe there is a button for that. I just don't know yet. No, that C is not it. And then X isn't it. And then Z for some reason moves you forward. And I'm not sure why Z would move you forward. Huh. Now why would... There, R. It's R. See? I'm not touching anything. I'm, it's auto-walking. Hey, I didn't know that. Well, now I do, right? I didn't know this. And then you can press any button and that stops the auto-run. Yeah, I can, see? He, 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 Danny is a fan of Skyrim and that's why he added it. Uh, and that's, that's good that he added it. A lot of games don't have these uh, advanced uh, movement controls. Okay, uh, there are 19 people here. Good. Thank you for being here and staying here. Now remember, we're, gonna we're going to stream this for about you know a total of two and a half hours. So we still have 90, about 80 minutes to go. Yeah, hey, Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. Yeah, luckily, actually, Lizzie, you don't necessarily need a, a PC, uh, a high-end PC to, to play this game. Uh, Danny actually made this uh, game so that the low-end graphics cards can support it. So you can support it. I mean, you can play it. You may have to, like, dial down the quality to maybe, um, you know, like this, like high or even medium. No, don't apply. Yeah, of course, I have it on maximum, and I'm streaming it in 4K, so not only am I playing this in a full 4K, video, 4K resolution, I'm also streaming it in 4K, so that's double load on the graphics card, and it's still giving us a nice, uh, consistent 30 frames a second. And you don't need 60 frames a second on this game, because it's peaceful, there's no combat. So there's no reason whatsoever to be perking and jerking around like the camera doesn't need to be doing like jerking back and forth you don't have to be uh you don't need um you know 60 frames every second to understand what's going on 30 frames is plenty in fact 30 frame 30 fps is pretty much the standard among uh ps4 games especially the ps4 exclusives you know they've always almost always have been 30 frames a second. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, chicken. Good day to you. Good morrow. Hello. I made that. Oh, we have to go to Neverland and paint a picture. 
Yeah, we'll turn in our commissions. Hello. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Here, turn them in. Let's turn in. Turn in. Oh, we have to paint. Yeah, we have to pick that. Yeah, and then turn in. I think we have two to... No, oh, okay. And then turn in the windmill. Okay. It's there. a solid composition. Yes, it is, indeed. Now, let's make sure that we still have fulfilled all of Mother's paintings. Oh, God. Don't want you to do that. Yeah, see, so, and then this is hers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. La. Okay, so we have a mountainous snowscape and a cave of ice. Whoa. There is an ice cave. Oh yeah, the inside is the, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll show the audience too. We'll go down into the tea club. Yeah, we'll go in there in a moment. Okay, these are the last two commissions, a mountainous snowscape and a cave of ice, okay. Hello. Um, oh, let's buy a few canvases from him. Do we need to? No, no. See, now we can do it. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Pick a topic. The night drummers. Whoa. That must have been pretty strange to find. No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. What about this locked box? Medvi. Yes. It's familiar there. for some reason. I think it's the name of the last park ranger we had in the Great Shade. He passed a few years ago. Or was it the grandmother of Lady Samira? I can't recall exactly. Lady Samira does have a bit of a reputation for uh, Lady Samira. acquiring things that belong to other people. Oh, really? Okay. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons yeah, interested in your work. Yeah, I want to buy a canvas or two from him, and then let's buy a fabric. We have a lot of money now, so let's just buy. We should be buying things from everybody. And hello. Oh, do you want to see the sales kitty? Here's the sales kitty. Hi! I buy a pillow from you? Oh, okay, sales kitty. Bye. All right. Interested in a book? No. I already bought the books, and it should tell me The Fish of Fellstream River. Have I bought that yet? No. Interest. Yeah, let's buy it. A helpful fishing guide. Yeah, we already have this classic Shady and Tees. Okay, now we'll read that book really quick. Um, Fish of the Fellstream River. Oh, we've already seen that. It was at the end before, but now it's telling us that to, essentially to catch this fish called Old Pops, he's a sandfish. So he, ha so they prey on thunder, thunder trout. So we have to make sure we have a thunder trout in our inventory, which I think we do. Yes, we have one thunder trout. So we're going to catch him with that thunder trout. Yeah, he looks crunchy. And we already have a, yeah, we already have the fishing pole. Let's buy one more thunder trout just in case it gets away. Good day. Good day. Browse goods. Zip tr oh, we've already bought both of those. And then she sold us the uh, the coat. He's homeless. Oh look, fabric. Uh, let's go over to One Buck Chuck and say hi really quick, and then we'll be on our way. Then we'll go back to... <laughs> yeah, Sales Kitty, no buy, only pay. I love Sales Kitty. Isn't he so cute, though? Or she. Could be a she. What are they doing? Oh, they're playing... They're playing, uh, Navy. Ha ha ha. I didn't notice that before. They had little ships and they were playing with them. Let's go over to One Buck Chuck. Hey, One Bucker. What's up? There's that same rooster again. Oh, a statue of a boar. I didn't notice. Or, it's a bull. Or a ram. Not pig. What am I thinking? Can't even... Anyway. Got some junk to sell. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, mountain warts? Look at all the mountain warts we have. 
Yeah, we'll keep a few of them. Oh, no, we should hold on to the sticks. There we go. I think we're good. There we go. And he doesn't have anything to sell. Now we're going to... What do we need to do here? I'm going to fast travel. So we can't get across the shore again because our raft is sitting here on the edge. So let's uh, go to the last place we discovered. The Tiffmore Gorge. Oh, we need to make mountain wart tea. Okay, but there's a campfire over here. We'll make mountain wart tea. Hang on, hang on. Oh, it's a Hungarian word for bear. Yeah, so it's a probably a bear of some sort. Okay, so what does that thing say now? It says, after asking, it seems that it could belong to either Lady Samira or Park Ranger Victor. Hey, I know where Park Ranger is. He's the one over there by the Water Fox Cave. Yeah, so we could check with him later. And now, actually, let's go up and paint the top. Yeah, we can actually go up to the top floor now while we're here, so we might as well do that. Where is my campfire? Oh, God, it, it disappeared. Well, shit. What can I brew you up? Mountain wall tea. Yeah, there's no reason to kind of... There. There, we have, no, we have so much money. Hope you're enjoying that bicycle. Yep, it is. It's a nice bicycle. Hello. Did you pick up a paper? Yes. Would you like to donate a glowstone to the Shady and Post? Thank you for sure. your contribution. I don't know what that does. It makes me a better person somehow. Okay, let's go back to uh, the Tiffmore Bluffs. There, we discovered this, remember? This was on the other side of the cave. How... Okay, we've got it. Okay, now we're at the top. See, we could go down there again, but that just takes us back down into the uh, cave. So let's walk up to the top. Now how do you get up oh, this way, right? Or what's this way then? I think it's just more of the waterfall. Oh, we can can we cross? Nope. It won't let us cross. That's that's kind of silly, isn't it? Yeah, snuff lumpagus. I saw that too. Um the fallout the fallout channel tweeted that out, didn't they? Yeah, so there's actually um, a, a road map that uh, Bethesda released about what's coming up on Fallout 76. And I will stream all of that. You know, it's just, uh, you know, kind of disappointed about Fallout 76. Uh, definitely, I was just definitely downright angered for a while when I was playing it earlier. And now it's just kind of disappointing. It's just disappointing that they didn't do uh, the job we wanted them to do on such a big game, huh? Well, there's nothing, there's nothing to do over here. How do you get up there? And how do you get over there? Maybe you have to go around. Yeah, look, well, you just have to explore. Aha, here's a path. Let's go this way. Sometimes you just have to take a path. And I bet you I can walk up this way. Yep, see? You've got to be kidding me. It was a fake, it's a fake log. Doesn't really get you anywhere. Don't worry, it's just the eclipse. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you even put these there? All right, I know there's a way to get up. See, there's got to be a way to get... Ooh, yeah, see, there is. There is a way to get up here. We just have to find it. Ooh, look. Oh, this is a special arch. Somehow we have already painted the arch, though, and I don't know how we did it. Oh, a mountainous snowscape. No. No, we have to paint a second. 
we have to paint a second picture of the mountain. See, because that is this one, and we don't want to lose that commemorate, commemorative. And we've already got this one. Yeah, see? And we've already got the giant shade. See? So we, we have to paint a second picture of the, uh, of the mountain. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely recommend trying it anyway. Uh, you know what you could do, because it's on Steam, Lizzie, you could buy the game and try it out on your graphics card. And try it out for 30 minutes. If, if your computer just won't run it, and then um, you just request a refund on Steam, and then they'll refund the money. But only play it for like 30 minutes. Uh, because they get really uh, crappy with you if you play for more than a... Well, actually, I think the limit is two hours, but just stream it for 30 minutes. I mean, I'm not stream it. I mean, play it for 30 minutes. And if you, uh, if your laptop just can't handle it, then just ask for a refund. See, so if you really want to play the game, then there's no risk at all. If it doesn't work, just get the refund and, you know, try another game. Wow. So pretty. And listen to the music. This is a new track I haven't heard before. Well, let's just keep exploring. This tends to lose a few people in the audience because exploring tends to be boring for some people, but I personally love doing this. It's meant to be a peaceful game. There's, exploring is the key factor in this game. And painting what you explore is the main mechanic. It's how you move the quests along, right? Good, 18 people here. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Now, if you could, remember, help the developer out by staying here. Because if you stay here, then the audience is bigger, and then more people will find the stream, and then more people will learn about the game. Most, most uh, gamers don't even know about this game yet, so that's what I'm trying to do, is help get the word out about to the game. That. I'd like to do this with uh, other indie games. You know, find a game that I really like and then get the word out about the developer for all the hard work they put into things like this. You know, it's one developer that spent five years building this game. Thank you for sticking around direct through my um, weird speech because I have my retainer in. Yeah, got to keep the retainer in. There's no two ways about it. Oh, look, it's a bridge. Okay, we'll take the bridge. Let's let's go across. These bridges are not, aren't they great? They look great, I think. Yeah, looks good. This looks, uh, so I would say... You know, just look at this for a second. This looks just as good as Skyrim does now, even with the uh, uh, special edition. This looks just as good, if not even slightly better. Maybe, maybe not the mountains. Just don't look at the mountains. But I mean, look at this. Skyrim doesn't look quite this good. And look at the look at the clouds. And the clouds are dynamic. Watch. No, no, those clouds aren't. But yeah, some of the clouds are dynamic, like these stratus clouds, you know, they, they do slowly roll across the sky. Okay, let's keep looking around. Um, there are some things that, it doesn't tell you where you are on the map, either, which is weird. But we haven't finished looking around at everything yet. There are some, uh, oh, these, this was the hot springs, right? Yeah, so we have been to the hot springs. So there's the one bluff that we're on. Now, there must be a way to get to the other island. There's another bluff island over here somewhere. Oh, look. Oh, that goes down. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Look at that. We can get down there once we have a boat. We have to build a boat next. If you have a 2 gig GPU made in the last five years, you should be able to play it. Yep. Yep, agreed, uh, Galarp. Yeah, I, I'm sure any... 
you know, all the way down to on the NVIDIA side, like even the 600 series should be able to stream this. I mean, play this just fine. Yeah, I don't see any issues with uh, any any recent graphics card in the last five years. You know, you might have to dial down the quality a little bit. Oh, well, big deal, right? Just still, it'll still look really good. In fact, I checked the quality on medium, and it still looks pretty good. It doesn't look as good as this, but it still looks good. And you can still enjoy the game, even in medium quality. There's yet another windmill. Hey, what's this? Well, pick it up. Okay, I want to get over there. Can't seem to get over there, though. Maybe there's nothing over there. I don't see a way to get over there. See, it's that bluff standing right over there. Oh, uh, Mr. Milk, Big Pop, Old Pops is actually in the lake where that inn is. You know, there's the inn on that island, or like that hotel island. He's right over there somewhere. And I'm a coming for you. Old Pops, Old Popsicle fish, sandfish, and I've got the trout to catch him with. I just have to find the right place to catch him. And oh, blue tit, will you get me up here? I'm getting sick of getting stuck on terrain. Stop it. Oh, stop it. There we go. Yeah, nothing like getting stuck on terrain. Stuck on, I'd rather be stuck on you. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go down here. This is kind of like a little, a slight, like a small valley between the two bluffs. See? I don't know if we can get back up that, that way, but let's see. Now we're actually closer to the sand, to the beach. See, there is a beach down there. And we can get down there. Yeah, and then the, that boat that we're about to build is going to help us explore this entire coastline. And that is a part, that is a fairly important part of the game, is to explore the coast, because some of what you need to finally get out of here is on, is on the coast, I think. You know, we can actually turn in the five vials, and then we can go up to the top of that um, building. But we, we'll do that tonight. We'll do that in a little while. Let's just keep exploring and see if we can get down to that beach. Oh, oh, God. Just get me out of here. There we go. Now we're going to go walk up this way. In fact, there's a path that takes us up this way. See? It's a path. Ooh, God, there's so much to explore yet. Yeah, this is definitely a bigger game than I thought it would be. When I heard one person develop this, I was thinking like a map, like maybe the size of that first area in Metro Exodus. But this is, I mean, the whole map itself is gigantic, especially if you can get up there. If there's something to do up there, then it makes it even bigger. And remember, you can you can take a boat and explore along the shore, on, along the coastline. So that makes it even bigger yet. And there, there's a, and then there's a beach down here, which I can't seem to access yet, which is which makes it even bigger yet. And if you're wondering where the beach is on the map, it's this. We're we're essentially right here now. We're at the edge. I don't think we can go much further north. A balloon would still be cool. Yeah, being able to balloon around. Yes. Yeah, being able to balloon around. In fact, you know, um, if... 
it's tempting to build a game, an exploration game like this, and then use the balloons as like a primary means of transportation. That would be really cool. And then you have to balloon around to reach, you know, like to reach this area, you have to balloon around or something. Now, how do you get down to the beach? Life is a beach, but I want to get down to it and, ex and experience it myself. Instead of just clinging to a cliche, life is a beach, let's walk on the beach. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, these natural formations. Uh, let's just walk up here really quick before we go down. Ah, yeah, let's walk down to the beach, but let's walk up here first because there is a path that takes us somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Now remember, there are ruins, and I don't know how to get down into the ruins yet. Oh, we, we saw, remember, we were looking through here from the other side, so now we're actually exploring what's over here really quick. And then we'll go down to the beach. Hey, funky thumbs. Yeah, this is one of my favorite areas. You know, there's not a lot of trees maybe, but there's a lot, but it actually opens up the area so you can really enjoy the countryside. Oh, okay, and we were there before, remember, there's that lake. We, we walked across it. So now we're on the other side of the lake. Oh, come on up. Yeah, there. And then there's butterflies everywhere. I don't see a lot of birds in the game yet. And look at that. There's even like um, the texture on the water changes a little bit. That's really neat. And then, of course, if you're looking at the water with the sun in the background, you'll see the reflection. Well, the sun's going but there. See, kind of like that. That's really cool. that nice touch uh, but you can see the sun is about to set so um oh hey sonic okay sonic is here hey yeah sonic is uh not only a moderator for a very long time he's also a streamer he streams on youtube as well i think he used to stream on twitch but as we all discovered Building an audience on Twitch is grueling. It's actually easier to grow an audience on YouTube. Ironically, you know, YouTube is the worst of the two platforms for <laughs> gaming, <laughs> but, but it's easier to build an audience quicker on YouTube. And then maybe, see what I'm doing? I built my audience on YouTube, but uh, then I'm moving over to Twitch, but you have to do it slowly. Like, you know, just like what we're doing tonight, I'm gonna ask all of you when I'm done streaming this for tonight to come over to my Twitch channel because I'd like to stream Metro Exodus for an hour or so tonight. It won't be long. It won't be a big stream, just long enough to, uh, you know, to acknowledge that Twitter, that Twitch exists and hey, I'm on Twitch too, right? Okay, we made it to the beach. So this is how you get there. It's, oh, this is the beach. Apparently, yeah, yeah, you can walk around this. And then there will be a point where you can't go out because it's too deep. Oh, it's letting me walk. No, okay, there. You can't get any. So this is where we need a boat. And there's that bluff that we saw earlier. Yeah, you like this area better than the first one. Yeah, I think I do too because it's big. It's so big and there's so much to explore. Black Paw Beach, so that's what it's called. La! See? We just got la And I think we discovered most of what there is to do up here. But, um, there... Can we explore the ruins? I thought you could explore the ruins. And what I'm asking the audience is, I'm asking if anybody knows whether it's possible. I mean, yeah, of course we will if it's possible, but I, I need to know, is it worth trying to find the entrance? Because if ruins don't exist in the game, then, well, we're not going to waste a half an hour trying to get in. Oh, 
God, will you just let me get back up? And I can't quite, re oh, here. Yeah, this is how we get back up, because there's a staircase. Well, that's convenient. You know, the Black Paw Beach is probably where you would uh, build a boat. Let's build the boat. It's time to build the boat. And we need... We need to go back and loot roots. <laughs> we need to loot roots and loot the two. And I know where, I know where to make, I know where to get roots. It's uh, this area is full of roots. Yeah, so let's actually go back to Lindo. Yeah, and then we'll talk to the people about the architect. I know, there's so much inspiration that we've accumulated now. Yeah, totally. So, I mean, we have more inspiration than we ever need to finish the game now, but here's the inn. We could always rest there. We also have our campfire. I mean, not our campfire, but our tent. We have a tent packed up, so we could always rest anywhere we'd like now. Let's let's talk to the innkeeper about the, uh... Hello. Thanks again for that painting. Yeah. Damn fish aren't biting today. Yeah, right. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Oh, good. By the way, oh, the architect. That poor man. He had... I hope he's very happy. Wherever he is. Well, I know, I know where he is. Towers like that, it's a, oh, it's probably just some kids playing a prank. I know, see, I can't talk to her about that. Certainly. Ah, meadow spice mead. Oh, I think we, and a Lindowian brew, why not? You know, I, I'm just buying stuff more than what My we have. My father was a fisher of these oceans, so I've been out on the sea plenty of times. Oh, I see. I could never be a fisher, though. Why not? Sea monsters. What? Sea monsters? No, there's not. Can you believe he came up with the plan for this mm -hmm. city by himself? I'd love to meet him. You can meet him. He's over there. I remember playing in there as a kid. See, it's something... Ocean... I hope it isn't bugged out. I, I want to speak to the right person. I have to speak to just the right person about the architect. Yeah, I don't know about, does anyone in the chat room know about the ruins? I don't know if you can actually get into the ruins. Now, where is that lady? Oh, hello. Nope, she doesn't even have anything to talk to us about anymore. So uh, maybe this guy will tell us about the uh, architect. Yeah, we need somebody that will talk to us about the architect. Get out! Okay. Well, I know there's somebody who will listen to us. I mean, there's got to be somebody who will listen to us about the architect. She won't. She's just. This was our captain, and she's still upset about her ship. ship. Such a good ship. What? I don't know. Is that an old? Why See? does everyone think I have something to do with his disappearance? <laughs> I've never seen him, and I certainly haven't taken. None of that matters now, though. Okay. Now leave me. See, she doesn't have anything to say about him. Damn it. Okay, no worries, Glarp Stepford. Yeah, if you keep the stream open, that actually uh, keeps the audience up. Um, we actually do need uh, more of an audience. Um, and and I know it's not it's not the most exciting game. It's all exploration and painting. And, and I knew it wouldn't be as big of an audience like Skyrim. You know, like, everyone knows what Skyrim is. And, of course, if I were to stream it, everyone would uh, come. But I finished streaming Skyrim, and we're just not going to do it anymore. There's no particular reason. Because I've already done everything in the game. So we need to pick up 20 of these roots. You see what we're doing? We're going around and picking up uh, roots. And the roots can be found near trees. Like that. Who else? Oh, who's uh, eating what for dinner tonight? That's something I always like asking. asking. Yeah, 
Yeah, so what we're doing, we're just collecting roots, and we just have to look for things that can be rooted. So there's always like loot, like little loot signs or loot icons that show you that you're about that you're coming up on something that can be looted. But it only shows up when you get close. See? Like that just showed up. So let's start making the uh, twine. See, we've only made one twine, and we need three more twine. So we need 12 more roots. Man, that's going to be hard to find, huh? And nobody really sells roots. There, those are roots. See what I'm doing? I'm, we're finding them. It's just taking time. And we could also find them over in the forest, the other side of the forest. And we'll go over there in a minute. Typically near near trees. Yeah, there's a feather. We need roots. Oh, yeah, there's some roots. Two more roots. Roots, roots. Yeah, I did this before when I was making the first boat. The first boat also required roots. Okay, now we have enough to make more twine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're getting there can almost make the boat. Now remember, when we make the boat, there, one twine, one twine left and we can make the boat. I, look at that, I think we just have all of our roots we need. Man, we were in the right place, huh? Right place at the wrong time, or the wrong place at the, I'm always in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ooh, nice uh, warp finity. Yeah, I would go for that. Um, you had a market garden salad. Yeah, I'd, I'd go for the the, mar, uh, the garden salad for sure. I don't think I could uh, handle the Chick-fil-A. That's a little heavy on the calories. But you know, calories aren't so much, aren't quite as important on days that I'm working out because I have very intense workouts now. And my workouts are lasting, my workouts are lasting um, 90 minutes, five days a week. So I need more calories actually, but it's preferable that I have, uh, that I use uh, clean calories or what we call uh, clean bulking. Well, I'm not bulking, you know, I actually want to stay really, really thin with the really, I mean, not thin, I want to stay, my, my waist should be really, really narrow. 29 inch waist while I'm building muscle and that's very difficult almost impossible to do especially with someone with my metabolism but um I can do it I just have to keep things out of the diet like um chick-fil-a not because of the calories but because it's like dirty calories or like unclean calories <laughs> as we call them oh uh Mr. Milk is doing seeds Oh yeah, sunflower seeds. I think he was doing sunflower seeds, right? Okay, we have enough to build the boat now. We have more than enough. Oh, let's t let's talk to that. Uh, remember, there was the uh, there was the ranger over here. So now that we're here next to the ranger, that's not his house. That's remember, it's the who who. She never goes to bed either. It's like hi. She's the hoo lady. Hoo! 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 Thanks for the painting! Bye now! Hoo! Hoo! <laughs> that is really weird. I love, I love that she's in the game, though. That's a lot of fun. Like weirdos in the game. <laughs> oh! Um, uh, mushrooms. Uh, if you remember, the... Ooh, it's purplish. How'd that happen? It's in the middle of the night. There he is. There's the ranger. Let's talk to him about this. Uh, ooh, he just saw me pick the thistle. Oops. Good night. Hmm? Uh, can I ask you about a box? What? A box? Why are you bothering me with something like that? Because it might belong to you. I somehow doubt that. Do you know? Okay, fine. Let's see it. Okay. Well, I can't say I ever expected to see this. <gasps> it is his. What is it? Medva was my great-great-grandfather. There. His mother brought him to East Shade. Of course. Nothing to her name except some seeds from their homeland. According to the story, she kept them there, in that very box. She wanted to plant them here so East Shade would share a piece of home. 
I can't believe you actually recovered it. it. Makes sense it would be Lady Samira's scheme, but I can't figure out what she'd want to do with seeds. It doesn't really seem to fit her style. Seeds? The seeds must still be in here. I've got another key somewhere. Unless Samira got to that one too somehow. Oh, there's another one. I think I'll try planting them. In pots, of course. They're an invasive species. Thanks for rescuing this for me. It's nice to have a piece of my family's history. Okay, glad to help. You know what? This box is basically a historical artifact. Ooh, it's a different... It would be nice for other travelers to see a part of immigrant history. Would you mind delivering it to the innkeeper up the hill? It's a different voice actor. Okay, we'll deliver it to the innkeeper up the hill. And he's talking about this inn right up here. Did you notice how the voice actor changed? That was, that's jolting. That's why you kind of have to, uh, you, you have to script a game first. And then when you do hire the voice actors, they, they have to do it. You know, each voice actor has to get all of their voice acting done in a short period of time. And there are times when, you know, you need more voice acting and you preferably have to hire the same voice actor. But of course, not always. The voice actor won't always be available or the actress. So then that's where you get that. It's like a slightly different voice, but the same one. You know, it's the same. My great great You made it sound like the same accent. Lodge. It's held up pretty well, I'd say. Oh, yes? With any luck, it'll stay up for many more generations. Here, here's a, here's a box. What an ornate box. Yes. Oh, this is the famous seed box of the Medve family. Yes. I guess it's fitting to display it here, this uh -huh. being the place the Medve settled. Mm-hmm. Does everyone in town know about this box? Not at all. There. But us innkeepers, folks... Oh, yes, space, of course. Just the other night... I heard the wildest story about a strange musical group out in the woods. We've already Never met them. think of all the interesting stories we hear night after yeah. night. See, the innkeepers are actually like hotbeds of gossip. Never gave it much thought. I'm going to set up a nice plaque for this. A traveling box. My fitting for an inn. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, then. It's just up the stairs, I, second door on the right. I thought we already had a room here, but I guess not. Not that it matters. Now we have lots of money. There's that fish book. Hello. Um, well, let's rest until morning. Might as well, since we're here. Yep, let's rest until morning. Yeah. Oh, Medva. And then the Serbian is Medved. Yeah. Medvedev is a famous Russian painter. And I know Medvedev. I've seen a lot of his work. In fact, I've seen a lot of his originals in um, art galleries. So that's where Med that's where his name came from. There. Russian for yeah, Medvedev. Medvedev. Man, that's kind of a tongue twister, isn't it? Okay, well now we can go, uh, ew, cool. Um, now we can go back to the shoreline and then we'll uh, launch a boat. Uh, I'll, I'll let the audience choose. Uh, or we could go back to Nava because uh, we have two quests that we can work on now. We can actually paint a picture from the top of the common tower now because we have all those samples from the five different hot springs. So we could do that. Here's the cave. Oh, the cave is actually over here. Does he have anything else to... Tell us. These trails aren't gonna take care of themselves. No. These trails aren't gonna take care of themselves. Good night. Alright. Yeah, the um the water fox cave is right up here. Oh, good. Thank you. He's right here. Hello, water fox. I don't know if he's oh yeah, he's still in here. <laughs> Hello. He's real. Oh no, he's still. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he's still afraid of humans. That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> we, we helped him. We actually nursed him back to health. 
So he's he's a nice little fox. Okay, um Oh, the Russian Prime Minister is uh, Medvedev. Yeah, that's right. Of course. Yeah, Medvedev. Oh, let's loot the scragweed, the thistle, scragweed, and this scragweed. And, oh, there's more thistle and more thistle. Oh my god, so much to loot around here. And eggs. Okay, what are we gonna do? We go to Nava? Okay. Captain George said Nava. Just one more vote. Come on, one more vote and then we'll make a decision. We're either going here or we're going here. Blah! Here, let me see who, uh, oh, Zero Tan. Zero, Zero Otitan. Hey, Zero Otitan, thanks for following. Uh, but he's over on Twitch, so he probably followed me on Twitch. He might not even be watching. Thank oh, Nava, okay, yep, finish the, okay, Gail said it too, so we're going over there. Yeah, I, I have my uh, little alert box. It combines the Twitch actions and the YouTube actions, which I think is really cool. So um, it detects super chats, it detects bits, you know, cheers, it detects uh, tips, and everything. It detects hips, and it detects lips. It detects everything. Okay, where's the common tower? Oh yeah, it's right here. Good morning. Oh, hello, good morning. So, Zara has you running around the island like some sort of a unpaid assistant. N none of your business. What do you want? I know how remote some of those hot springs are. It was no small task. Uh, certainly not. And to think. You won't see a single glowstone for all your trouble. <laughs> but the biggest waste here is how utterly pointless your task was. No, it it's wasn't. It's just astounding how much energy you cynics waste all to crush the happiness of believers. Or maybe it's to prove to yourself that you haven't been missing out on something wonderful. Which, but I'm no psychologist. I'm just a merchant. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just oh, he's the one who sells the elixir. City full of happy customers. This is the fraud. Uh, it doesn't hurt to learn more. Listen here. I will give you 200 glowstones if you give me those hot spring samples and never say another word to Zara. Nope, bye. You and Zara are going to rob so many people of Eastshade's greatest gift. I don't even need money, see? Nice try, lady. Er, buddy. Nice try. Close but no cigar. I can't believe he was going to bribe me. See, I, we already have enough money. I, God, how much money do we have anyway? Yeah, we have 292 glowstones. It's more than we'd ever need. Like, we don't even need money anymore. Let's go and let's open this door first. Uh, who, uh, yeah, there's nobody in here. How's that? There's the balloon. Oh, we have to go and paint another picture of the mountains, too. We'll do that in a, in a little while. Hey. Hey. It's locked. Hello. Some blue here. Green. No, yellow. There, she's lost her marbles. Let's, let's uh, talk to someone who still has the marbles about. Oh, hello. Come back to taunt me? Or are you gonna give me the box after all? Oh. You know that box doesn't have much inside, right? You! You stole the jewels, didn't you? You thieving shrew! What? A shrew? There were only seeds inside. Please ask Victor the Park Ranger. <laughs> I don't speak to liars. Okay, okay, let's stop wasting our time with her. Okay, bye. See you later, bye. And there's the university uh, pr professor. Hello. I do love working here in the university. Mm -hmm. Even though my senior professor, Esma, can be a bit... 
eccentric at times. You know, if she's How's an owl... How's the hot spring sample collecting going? If she's an owl, wouldn't she sound a bit like an owl? And wouldn't the reindeer sound a bit like a reindeer? Okay, I have all five samples of the hot springs now. That's who wanted the samples. You do? Fantastic! Indeed. It can't have been easy. I understand yeah. that some of those hot springs are quite remote. Yeah, indeed. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I'm going to get right to analyzing it. It shouldn't take long. Come back in an hour if you want to see the results. This could really put that con artist out of business. Yeah, the five samples. And that's why we did this. And then she'll give me a recommendation. And then I can get up to the top of the tower. And then that's where I paint the final picture for Mother. Sounds good. I don't care about the reward. Oh, a locked box. Medva is an old Bearfolk family name. See? A few bear folk around here have ancestors named Medva. Our own ranger, Victor, down at the National Park is one that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. From what I've heard around town, Lady Samira also has family in the Medva mm -hmm. And I think that pretty much completes that quest, right? Yeah, the locked box, that, that quest is done. And then the Elixir of Life is, uh, now we're working on that, so we'll do that in a moment. Um, the sh oh, yeah, let's go downstairs. I don't know how to do some of these other quests, though. See, we're trying to get up here, and we have to wait until we have a recommendation. Anything else we can do? Yeah, now she, uh, the only thing that you miss, Glarb, is that we gave the five samples to the lady, and she's going to conduct uh, an analysis of the hot spring samples, and then we'll be able to expose the guys of fraud. Then she'll give me the recommendation I need to get up to the tower and paint that final picture. Uh, meanwhile, why don't we go... Ah, hi! She, uh, there's also librarian kitties. Look, now watch, here's another librarian kitty. Hello, can... Hi, can I read this book? Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> librarian kitties. There's sales kitties and librarian kitties. Librarian cat says, read these books. Uh, we did fulfill another painting, right? Yeah, let's uh, get that painting going. Turn in the commissions. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. And, and oh, what what happened to the commissions? Oh, we haven't painted them yet. Yeah, there's only two final commissions. Okay. Uh anything else? Yeah, let's uh, let's actually go over to the uh balloon. Yeah. Let's take the bicycle over to the balloon. Sometimes it's fun to ride the bicycle, right? Yeah, see, so you put it down and then mount the bicycle, and then off we go over to the balloon. Oh, whoa. almost fell right into the sister. Whee! Oh, the, there, okay, she did it. So meanwhile, let's just go over to the balloon, paint a picture of the mountains, and then we'll come right back. Don't you love my bicycle? It's just so much fun. Oh, I ran right into it. Whoops. Now where are we going? Uh, this way, right? Yeah, this way. This is so much fun. I've never had so much fun traipsing about the countryside on a wooden bicycle. There we are. Oh, it's almost time for the eclipse too. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Yeah, let's go over back to the mountain. Well, what do you say? Up yes. for a trip to the mountain top? Yeah, and it's free, like it doesn't cost us any money. Hurry up, get in there. Hurry. And yeah, so you could, if you like gliding gently across the countryside, you could do this, but or you could also skip it. See, and we're going to like fast travel. See, we're kind of fast traveling back over to the mountains. Yeah, cats and books. That's why it's like the perfect marriage. It's like librarian kitties. 
And Golly, here we are. Oh, yes. Even more spectacular than I always dreamed. Okay, so we have to. Oh, if you're this will be walk around, great. Take in the sights. Yeah, so. I'll back down when you're finished. The commission is to paint the mentons. So uh, let's actually paint this. Oh man, this would be a great photo. I mean, painting them. Only we have. Yeah, we have to do it quickly. But yeah, let's paint this. Oh, there. Did you see that? It, there's a bug. There we go. There. Oh, that is a great painting. See, I just have this uh, kind of like a knack for catching the compositions at the right time. It's not perfect, but it, I think that looks good. That is a cool painting. And now if we go into my paintings, let's see what we got. I, I really like this one. I don't want to lose it. Uh, yeah, that, that one sucks. Uh, this one's a nice one. Let's see if that fulfilled one of the... It did. I have to use the restroom. Stand by. I'll let you watch the eclipse while I'm using the restroom. Hang on, hang on. I'll be right back. Stay here, don't leave. think there's ever a need to go back up into the mountains right uh, there might be but um, I think as far as I know we're done here so let's uh, get get out Are you of ready here. to head back yes uh, indeed let's skip we have to skip this Whoa. well actually let, let's just show you what happens as you're uh, like uh, gently gliding back see and then these are like, uh, this feels like the throat of the world, sort of, doesn't it? In Skyrim. Isn't this pretty? There's something over there, and I want to find out what it is. Because, see, you can also, look, there's, there's also camps. There's a camp over there. And it's very obvious that there's something to do over there. And I don't know what it is. Yeah, we need, and I think we actually get over there by building that boat. Okay, we're going to fast travel. La 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 da 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 Indeed. Oh, scragweed. And more roots. Okay. Now we have to fast travel over to the beach. Oh, stop it. Um, we have to decide which beach, though. You know what? Let's, let's go to this beach. Black Paw Beach. Okay, now we're going to build our boat. I've been waiting for this for a long time. We're going to um, sail along the shore. I mean shore, not short. You know what I was trying to say there. What time is it? Oh, it's 3.40. It took forever to get over here. 
damn it. Well, let's build the boat anyway. We have to build the boat out. Yeah, we have to go way out and build the boat. The boat. And there it is. Whoa. Let's mount on the boat, and I guess we can... Whoa. It's unlimited potential. Look at this. Wow. This is a really cool part of the game where you get to... Hey! Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought we got stuck there for a second. But nope, you, apparently, I don't know how far out you can go. You might, we might be able to go out all the way to uh, that island, but now let's actually go back to that, remember that area that we couldn't reach before? This is how you reach it. You have to go up ashore. Yeah, and I think that one is around the other way. Um, oh, I see what it does. Yeah, that's how you do it, okay. Wow. Okay, now we're going to turn and head over toward the bluffs, and then we can get over there. That looks really good. Yeah, the textures look great, I think. And there's the natural arch, and then there's the beach. Or was this where the cave was? No, okay, that's the cave. So we've, we've already been there. We've already been ashore over there. Yeah, yeah. And now we have to go over further south. So now we're about uh, we're about here now. We're going to go to this place. Remember, there was like some kind of, oh, actually it was there. Actually, it's here. It's here. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep, uh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, and Gale, um, you know, I think you can actually, you can build the boat any time after you visit the end and after you solve the, uh, the, the theft. I like how the biggest detective quest in the game was just, it was just like a theft. It wasn't a murder or anything, it was just a theft. <laughs> it's like somebody stole the book. Oh my god, what's, what's upset people's lives for four days because somebody stole a book. And then uh, people were even making fun of it. It's like, wow, that book must have contained the meaning of life. That's what <laughs> that's what one of the uh, NPCs said. What's so important about that book? And as it turned out, it wasn't all that important. Ooh, look at the waves. The water is changing levels. Look at that. That is neat. I like that. Okay, I think we've, there's nothing to, we could get off and uh, just, and check this out if we wanted to, but I don't think there's really anything there. So let's go up ashore here. <laughs> the water is too deep to dismount, Walt. What do you mean it's too deep to dismount? I'm up on the rock. Oh, God. Okay, maybe it doesn't want me getting up on there. Okay. Okay, how many people have we got here? Looks like, ooh, 23. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, hey, Mr. Milk. Uh, what are your thoughts on this game? Are you going to, are you thinking of buying it? And honestly, there was another reason. There's another reason why I stream this. It's for people who, who really enjoy games like this, but they don't really want to spend 22 bucks for a game like this. And that's perfectly understandable. That's why I stream things to entertain people. And you get, um, and you get to uh, enjoy the game without having to uh, pour money into stuff. And I feel, I feel the same way about that with a lot of games. So this is it. So this is it. It's a hidden code. Who's this? 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and I could cook tea if I wanted. Hello! Excuse me! I desperately need your help. Please, don't leave. No, I won't leave. Same with the audience. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please stay here. Uh, what's wrong? I've been stranded in this cove for two days. Oh. Oh, if the old fisherman's ramp was still standing, I could have just walked out, but as it is, I'm stuck. Uh-huh. I've been stranded in this cove for two days. If the old fisherman's ramp was still standing, I could have just walked well, out. My here? children and I were visiting Eastshade, oh, and whoops. we went out on the ocean for some fishing, when a terrible squall capsized us and sunk oh, our no. boat. His... I've been stuck here, worried to death about them. So maybe that's what the ch I think I met your children. Oh, thank the moon and stars. That's who are they those safe? two? Where are they? They're two. They're two kids. They they set up a camp up in the woods. Oh, this is the best news. Thank you. I just need to get out of here and find them. I have a plan, but I can't do it alone. What? Hmm. There's no way the two of us no. are going to fit in that. No, you can't kayak fit in here. Yours. But that access ramp. If you could craft, craft a, rope a rope out of out twine, twine. Okay. I think you could hang it from the end of the ramp. Okay, I will do that. Okay, I can do that for oh, you. Thank you! Oh, I'm so lucky you found me. So now we'll craft rope. We need... Ro there it is. And we need four... And we need four twine. I mean, four... Four, uh... Roots to make the rope. So where are we going to find the roots to make the rope? And then we're going to attach the rope to that, and then he can get back up. I mean, why couldn't he have just done that? He he knows how to make it. So why did he have to give the schematic to me to make it for him? Hey, 26 people here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah? You like the game? Yeah, I, I think it's worth um, uh, supporting the developers. It was, really, um, it was really nice what they did here. Oh, it's another cave. Let's go in. Oh god, I can't get in there. So what am I... Now what am I going to do? I have to get into the cave to make... Yeah, I can't make the twine. Well, I could just fast travel, but um, let's not do that. Let's... Uh, how do you get into that cave? Let's see where... Wait, actually, here, let's see where this goes. Maybe there is another way to pedal in. No, there isn't. And I can't make a raft. Can't make a bloom sack raft. We're missing, we're missing uh, that. But we're going to have to. We're going to have to, uh, to explore the other part of this. We're going to have to make another bloom sack raft later on. Okay, did we discover? Yeah, so we can fast travel back there. Good. All right, let's go to uh, the Blushwood Forest. To Mud Willow's Doll. I mean, to uh, Mud, Mud Willow's Mirror. Oh, we ran out of, we ran out of uh, tea, fast traveling tea. So now we have to make more tea. Man. That's the mountain, mountain wart tea. There. Now we can fast travel. Whoops. Uh, to uh, Mud Willow's Mirror. Yeah. Oh yeah, the game that I'm developing myself, it, it's probably just going to be a PC game. You know, just like this was. You know, this is only a PC game for now because that way you can focus on one platform, one, um, one DirectX um, library instead of having to deal with two at once or even three at once. But yeah, eventually it'd be nice, especially if people like the game, to then extend it to other platforms or build a second game, and that second game would simultaneously release on all platforms at the same time. So the reason we're here now is because we need twine. So we need to make rope for him. 
we need uh we need 16 roots oh my god well there's one okay we're, this is the right place yeah oh it, this is definitely the right place oh my god four five six so let's stick around the forest and we'll find all the roots we need roots come on i need the roots the roots Rootington, Lootington. Yeah, we're, we need to collect 16 of those. And we're, oh, oh we're halfway there. Ah, la. Mm -hmm. Come on, roots. I don't want, I don't want this stupid thistle or Blue tits. I want roots. Oh, there's a, there's a root right there. In fact, I like how it shows as you're approaching it. So, you know, quite a ways out. So you're not searching the whole countryside for the roots. We don't need eggs. We need roots. Screw your, screw your mushrooms and eggs. I want roots. Ooh. Egg, mushroom egg omelet. That sounds good. Wouldn't that be cool if you could make that? Hmm. Roots. Let's see how much, how many uh, twine we can make. Yeah, see, we need two more. So we need some more roots, that's for sure. You could use Vulkan or OpenGL Linux porting. It's easier than if you use DX. So oh, yeah. With Proton porting, it could be a lot easier in general. Yeah, and I probably will be doing porting. That's the that's the quick way around it. Um, I mean, that's kind of like the, the quick approach, which indie developers, especially if it's a team of just one developer, like it'll be me, um, I'll probably have to do that. Um, and by the way, you know, it's going to take a long time to do this game that I'm building myself because uh, I... I still have to pull in money, so I'm going to need a full-time engineering job, which sounds like it. I'm making progress with the interview process, so it may happen sooner than I think. But uh, yeah, I, I need to have that full-time job while I'm developing the game, because uh, I'm living in a really expensive place, which I wish I could change, but um, if I want some good uh, high paying jobs, I have to stay right here in Silicon Valley. So the high paying jobs are right here. And unfortunately, I'm kind of shackled to this one area. Possibly, you know, Seattle or New York or even Austin would be a nice alternative. But um, the jobs aren't as high paying as here. Uh, what some people do in Silicon Valley is they get a job and then they ask to relocate. They keep the salary, but then they relocate to a part of the country that's a lot cheaper. And that's a, that's a cool trick. That's actually a really cool trick. And I might do that trick. Okay, we're down to 19 people. <laughs> yeah, Jasmine doesn't need eggs and then takes them anyway. Yeah, and what time is it now? It is uh, 6.16, so we're going to stream for a, a little while longer, and, and then I'm going to ask everyone to come over with me to Twitch, and then we'll stream Metro Exodus for a short while, okay? So we have this one last, uh, we still have a little uh, ways to go with this other quest. Can't make twine yet. Yeah, we need more, we need more roots. There's just no way, two ways about it. That's not roots, that's scragweed. Come to, I can't believe uh, all those, so we don't have to sell anything to that one buck chuck anymore. See, I lost a lot of things when I sold him. Oh, like I sold him tons of these roots. And now I'm having to like go around and loot them all again. Wow. Oh, I think it's morning. No, it's 11.30 p.m. Oh no, I'm stuck on top of her head. 
God, I, I was like humping her head. And I still haven't figured out what this is. I mean, it's obviously chimes, right? You can make your own. See, you can make your own music if you want. <laughs> Doo -doo. That was the chime saying goodbye. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we are going to play Metro Exodus in a little while, but I, I would like to finish this quest, maybe. Uh, I think there are roots over here. Oh my, oh my. Yes, many roots over here. And there we go. Uh, we can make, there, we only need two more roots and then we've got all the twine we need and we fast travel back to the stranded, stranded father. He is a, there we go. There's the father. There's the twine. Now we can make the rope, and now we fast travel back to the father, which is right over here. That's why I made all the mountain wart tea, because you need one mountain wart tea to get back to him. But access your canvas menu by pressing P. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now I do. Okay, let's make sure. Where's my boat? The boat's gone. No! My boat went away. My boat was right there. I parked the boat right there. Yeah, that's a, that's a bug. Uh, it wasn't supposed to do that. And I looked in my inventory and it's not there. Yep, we're going to have to make another boat. It's not there. And it takes a... Oh, it just takes twine. I mean, we have plenty of everything else. And it, it doesn't take that long to... It's good to see you on. again. I don't like being stuck in this cove. How are you going with making the rope? Making? Oh, that's great! There we go. And see if you can find a way up to that broken access ramp and hang the rope from one of its wooden beams. Okay. Well, if I had a if I had my damn boat, then I could. What? You can't even get up here? Yeah, you can. Ah. I have to fast travel up. Yeah, I have to fast travel up to here to the uh, Tiffmore ruins. I think, and then I have to. No, I already did. I already checked my inventory. It's not there. Uh, okay, it says see if I can find a way. Well, I think the way is is up is through here. See, there he is, and we need to get down there. So how do we get down there? Maybe, maybe dropping from here? No. Maybe here? No. I don't see any way down there. And it's not letting me do it this way. Jasmine, do you happen to know how to get down here? Yeah, I don't want to spend like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get down there. So if you happen to know the way, just let me know and we'll get right down there. Can't fast travel down there. You can't get down there that way. Maybe this is it. That's it. That's it. There we go. Now we're in a different part, different area that we haven't been in before. So let's see what this is. Wow. Actually, we could have easily just, yeah, we could have also gone this way. The reason uh, it doesn't let you fall off cliffs is because you can't die in the game. There is no death, which is a little bit odd. I mean, everybody dies, so why not? 
there we are. So now we're going to be able to rescue him from destruction. Oh, look. Well, couldn't he have just walked up that away? Oh, no. Oh, we went, we went too far. No, we have to go back up. Oh, blue tick. And I think we can get back up. See, we have to be on that terrace, the middle terrace. You parkered using your bike? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, this luckily, this is it. Yeah, see, now we go up here. Linux porting certain audio codecs are among the biggest problems. Oh, yeah, the audio? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, so at least we can... Um, now we can make the rope. Take the rope. Attach the rope. And now he climbs oh, up. You've rescued me! Yeah. I'm eternally grateful. Oh, not if again. There's one more thing I could ask you for. Wall. I have to find my children. Do you know where they are? They're I hiding need to in go the find them. No time to waste. There, we did it. There, that's all finished. Yay! <laughs> hey, we could follow him. Yeah. I'm trying to follow him at least. Yeah, there we go. Where is he going? And then he, he actually has a path that he takes to get to his children. So he seems to know, right, where his children are. Or he'll have to search for his children or something. Yeah, we lost our boat, so we need to make another one now. That's so unfortunate. Uh, let's look around for roots. We need 16 roots again. 15, 15 roots. Yeah, we need 15 roots. Uh, and I, you know what? We'll do that next time. Yeah, we only have one stream left, and then we're then we'll be done with the game. Okay. So this is where we're going to end. You can go to that save near his camp, yeah. Oh, the cave near his camp, yeah, yeah. And we'll have a boat, and this time we won't lose our boat. It's kind of annoying that the boat gets lost. And now I'm going to stream over on Twitch. Uh, I will stream Metro Exodus. Um, for a short while. And um, here's my Twitch channel. And a lot of you already know it. Uh, this is where we're going. I'll be streaming here in just a few minutes. I just need a few seconds to change up the resolution and the uh, you know, I have to change my stream key. I have to change switch OBS to that I'm streaming on Twitch. So that takes just a few minutes, but then uh, I'll be starting up and then we'll continue uh, with Metro, uh, Metro Exodus. Uh, no worries, and thanks so much for being here. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I know it's a little bit uh, late for uh, Mr. Milk. Um, he's over in Serbia, so yeah, it, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning your time, I think, right? I think I got that conversion right. Yeah, we did save it. Okay, now I'm gonna, we're gonna switch over to Twitch. I gave you the link right in the description, I mean, right in the chat room. Um, so come over there. You just need to give me two minutes to get Twitch set up, okay? I have to just flip the, you know, the, the settings for a little bit, okay? <laughs> 